Okay, YouTubers, uh, this is just a quick little video um, to possibly save you a little bit of time if you plan on doing any servicing to your transmission, whether it's uh, changing the, uh, the transmission fluid and filter, just doing a standard service, or as in my case, uh, changing the uh, conductor, which was uh, giving me problems. Um, shifting problems uh, and that's a whole other um, video I don't have any uh, information uh, to share with you at this point on that however uh, I can tell you it's a royal pain in the ass trying to uh, get the proper um, fluid levels for this transmission and after watching uh, some other um, helpful videos on uh, on YouTube, I, I'm going to share with you a few things that uh, might help you along. Uh, first of all, you're going to need this um, measuring tool. It looks like a dipstick, but it's not. It only goes in to the transmission part way. And then there's some very fine measurements, if uh, I can get close enough. They're measured in millimeters on the side of that stick. Uh, what I found was that the end of this stick that I bought, this measuring uh, tool, is quite uh, slick and uh, it doesn't really hold and uh, contrast with the ATF plus four uh, transmission fluid that uh, are required in these NAG1 transmissions uh, on the Chrysler uh, V8 cars or the Hemi powered cars um, so you really have to play around with it and, and what I found was every time I put the dipstick down into that tube uh, there must be a little bend at the bottom uh, there was a little bit of resistance in the last few inches so it's obviously going around some little bend and, and when I pull the uh, dipstick back up it would actually drag a little bit of the fluid into the tube and so the next time I'd stick it back down to verify uh, my measurement uh, there'd be fluid the whole length uh, of this of this measurement tool and uh, it was making it really hard uh, to to make an accurate measurement. Sometimes it'd say 70, sometimes it'd say 40, and it was all over the place. And I, I kind of, I, I finally figured out that it's actually attributed to uh, the dragging of fluid up that tube. So uh, here's something that might help you out. I had to, uh, and this is just a real cheap solution, went and found a clothes hanger in the house, and I put a little, uh, loop on the end of the clothes hanger and I fished a piece of cloth you got to be careful you don't want to leave cloth down in your transmission um, so I, I, I and then I threaded the cloth through the end of that eye and every time I take a measurement I'd um, with, with, the, with the dipstick I'd end up cleaning the tube out on the inside with this here device and, and then I was starting to get more accurate measurements and I, I could actually see the, uh, the level on the side of the stick instead of all these spots, the whole length of it. Um, also, um, it, I can't stress how important it is to make sure the, uh, you, you know what the temperature of your fluid is. Uh, I found that uh, the, that chart is pretty accurate. As soon as the uh, transmission would raise another 10 or 20 degrees uh, on the fluid, uh, the level uh, would change. Uh, as the fluid uh, temperature increased, the fluid uh, volume would increase on the side of the stick. So you pretty well have to wait until the car is fully warmed up. I found that it leveled out at 150 degrees Fahrenheit and in my case I was looking for an optimum uh, measurement of 60 which I uh, did achieve on the side of the uh, this I, I think some people call it the Miller Miller tool and uh, anyway good luck 
and uh, oh uh, one last thing you're going to need some way of fishing that tube down uh, the, the, the thermometer down into the oil or the fluid and I had to get uh, another similar clothes hanger and actually tape it to the end of that clothes hanger and fish the uh, the probe down into the oil there's just no way that the, the, the included wire that they give you with this cheap uh, meat thermometer thing is stiff enough in order to feed that probe down all the way into the pan so again you're going to need a, a third piece of wire or, or another clothes hanger or something to push that probe down into the fluid anyway good luck and I hope this tip uh, helps you out.